Guys, welcome back to Card Snail, and if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe for the latest updates. Today we are taking a look at the X and Y Breakthrough Series with three packs. I don't have all three or four packs. I was able to get three on auction. That's the moral of the channel here is Card Snail. We want to buy slow and sell high. We're trying to have as much fun as we can while turning a little bit of profit, if not breaking even. And so here's the three pack arts we have of the X and Y breakthrough. And then just for fun, I have one more pack of Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze, which is a much more modern set. So because I don't want to waste your guys' time, we are going to start with the breakthroughs. We're going to start with the Mewtwo pack because Mewtwo, he's just the man. If you're a, a fan of Pokemon from the beginning, Mewtwo was just a breakthrough. The first movie he, he came into play and he was... Uh, Kind of like the first legendary Pokemon, first secret Pokemon. He's he's the first, you know? Mewtwo is just, he's something else. All right, so first pack right now, we are looking at Snover. It's our first card. Cancia, I like this. When it's a clay and it's a, like, it's, that's a real world image. That's a picture, actual photograph taken. That's really cool. Okay, Spritzy. Ghastly, Ghastly, my dude. He's the star of my favorite character, Gengar. Do Duo next to a delivery truck. All right, we got a Pampor Reverse Hollow. So it's just a common, but it's a real nice Reverse Hollow near mint condition. So, oh, boom, huge card, Glalie EX. All right, so Glalie, based on a goalie and me being in Canada, he's a, uh, you know, this is, this is a cool Pokemon to have. This is number 34 out of 162. Really nice EX Full Art Hollow. Let's take a look at the back just to see. Beautiful condition. A little slight die cut burring there. If you can see that, a little bit of whitening there. Otherwise, oh, and same with the bottom corner here. Look at that. Otherwise, though, beautiful card. Probably PSA 9, 8.59. Fantastic card. Nothing to complain about. And let's get in. Pincer. Quilava. Really awesome Quilava card. The action card. This could almost be a hollow. And Vanillish. All right, guys, and there is the X and Y breakthrough um, online code. So let's hit the next pack. Let's hit this thing running. Sorry, I punched the mic. I have no ball. I kicked it. All right, opening with the Pikachu card. So, you know, I'm a huge fan of Pikachu, like every self-respecting human being is. And that is a great first card to see. Inke. Chespin. Doduo again, we had that Doduo delivery truck guy going on. Fennekin, really nice, one of the cute Pokemon. Fantastic. And Sea King, all right, reverse hollow. It's an uncommon card, number 28 out of 162. Really nice card. Near mint, perfectly centered. Uh oh, what's that? Another one. Boom! Mega Glalie EX. We got two Glalies. We got Glalie and Mega Glalie. This is crazy. We got Glalie EX, Mega Glalie. It was like themed. They're just putting them out together. Now, I got these off an auction, so obviously they were not weighed. Kudos to the seller. Good job on not ripping me off. Gotta love that. And, um, yeah, so we're going to actually sleeve these up. So Magneton, Houndoom Spirit Link, and Floatstone. And, guys, there is your code. So let's, let's sleeve up these because I can't stack them on top of each other. And, really... There's no reason to mistreat such beautiful cards. Look at that. Glalie EX and Mega Glalie EX. Beautiful, beautiful card. And I love the throwback to the original Japanese origin of Pokemon. Japanese, of course, are fantastic at creating the animation and the anime series. If you know, if you watch the channel, I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh is not... Illicitly. They're, none of them are just Japanese anymore. There's a lot of artists from all over the world. I mean, they're really a collaboration, but the ori origin of Pokemon is Japan. Okay. Zorua with the whiny voice. Froki. They used this card art on another set too, I, I believe. Snover. Cacnea. I said Cancia the first time. Look at this cancer. Cacnea. Spritzy. All right. Diden. Nice. Another electric mouse Pokemon. Kind of the knockoff, cheap version of Pikachu. But it's got Chespin in the background and um, not going to be able to think of his name right now. But 57 out of 162. Nice reverse haul. No way. Mega Glalie EX. What the heck is going on, guys? Like, I, I swear I didn't repack these. Like, we, you saw me open them. It was hard to open. That, this is impossible. This is utterly impossible. We got two Mega Glalie EX and three packs. Frogadier. Wubbuffet. 
and Cacturn. Oh, there we go. Cacnea turns into the Cacturn. And there's your guys' code card. This doesn't make any sense. You know what? I've had a couple of these videos now in my videoing career that just absolutely make no sense. How is this, how is this even a thing? It's like they were seated in there or something. Like, what does it make any sense? Like, and especially because Glalie and two Mega Glalies, like, what is, it doesn't even make sense. Guys, if you want to comment, has this ever happened to you? Have you ever gotten, like, back to back to back, the Mega, or the, the EX, the Mega, then the Mega again? I mean, I guess it can't be that rare. It's happened to me several times on video. If you guys want to check out my X and Y evolutions, look at this. It's a short, uh, short seam. Normally the packs have a much longer seam. Very interesting. You guys see that? It's like a half seam pack. So is this a repack? Now I know these ones weren't. I know, but like it's impossible. They're absolutely perfectly, this one feels like something's up with it though. It's got a half seam on it. Maybe there's something huge in here guys. Maybe this is how they uh, let you know you're in for big, big excitement. All right, Marini, Torchic, Starly, Skarmory, Pansage. All right, we got a Fletchender. It's just an uncommon, number 31 out of 189, but nice reverse hollow Fletchender. Really nice centering. They tend to get perfect centering on the reverse hollows, but they, they hit. Oh my, Sizor VMAX, boom, huge pull. Like today's video is unreal, guys. 119 out of 189, Sizor VMAX. Look at that card, beautiful, no centering to examine. Well, I guess you could on the bottom, but absolutely mint card look at that perfect die cutting wow guys wow leaf corviskyre rose and vanillish again and uh different set though and then there is the sword and shield darkness of blaze code guys just an unreal set of pulls like i don't know if i've had four more fun packs in a while look at that glalie ex mega glalie ex twice and then Sizor VMAX from the Darkness Ablaze set. So guys, we just absolutely killed it on these packs. If you guys want to check out the set list for the X and Y Breakthrough or for the Darkness Ablaze sets, check the link in the description for the Card Snail blog. It's the last thing I update, so if you check and the set list you want isn't there, just be patient. I'll get to it. It's, it's just hard to keep on top of it all. And then also for the Darkness Ablaze set lists are on there. And if you guys want to buy these cards, packs, swag, tons of other merch, check the link in the description for the Card Snail eBay store. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. That was an exciting video and you guys make it happen. So if you can like and subscribe, it'll keep the videos going and help the channel out a lot. Otherwise, guys, until I see you next time, have the best days.